Uh, there was obviously frustration with Miami's offense, which scored uh, against Power 5 opposition only 19.4 points per game. How much of that was on the coaching and the play calling from the former OC, Josh Gaddis, and how much of that do you think was on his personnel not being good enough and not executing? Um, I would say it's about 60, 40 players being in the wrong on 60 coaches you know, on probably about 40%. Yeah. Um, the only reason why I say that, because at the end of the day, you know, players got to execute the plays, whether it's drop balls, whether it's a bat ball, whether it's, you know, a offensive lineman missing a block. Um, I will say that, you know, there were a lot of injuries at the offensive line. I think that if you're going to win in college football, it has to start up front. You know, I think that's one reason why, I at least um, give Mario so much slack is because I know that that's his point of emphasis. And I know once you fix the offensive and defensive line, everything else, especially in South Florida with the recruiting and, you know, the amount of athletes that we have, everything else is, is very easy to recruit. Um, so, you know, I, I don't really blame it on Gaddis. I will say that the only thing that I wish he would have added, which I've talked about a lot is tempo. You know, I think that there were some points where, you know, you saw what worked last year. You saw that, you know, them playing fast, giving Tyler the, chances to take shots because I just felt like last year we didn't take enough shots. And yes, I get that, you know, we lost a lot of production with Rambo and um, Mike Harley, but at the end of the day, most of those kids out, outside of the grad transfers were in the same offense. You know what I mean? So the fact that we weren't taking the shots to me, I felt like Gaddis played kind of timid because he was worried about, you know, the kids that were on the field, maybe he thought, Hey, they weren't as good. But whenever you play timid, kids can feel that. You know what I mean? With, when you go from a high powering, high tempo, we're going to take shots, you know, like I'm going to give you guys a chance to make plays to where you have a very controlled, methodical, slow pace, a lot of like short passes just to try to get guys open and kind of get people warm. To me, I think that's the kind of personality that your offense takes on. You know what I mean? That's one reason why I love James Coley, high energy, high motor, loves to take shots and like you feed off that. You know what I mean? You want to go to practice you because you know that there's going to be something new, creative, that like you have, as, as a quarterback have a chance to make an explosive play. You know, at least when I played, that's what we lived off mm -hmm. of. You know, we lived off of chunk plays. We lived off of big posts or a double move or a big run. Um, and I think that's, you know, unfortunately how college football is played nowadays is, you know, it, it takes one play. You know, you think about Tennessee in a blink of an eye, they're hitting a, a go or a post. It can be first, second, or even third down. And to me, I think that's the kind of identity Miami needs. And I know a lot of fans are, you know, saying, well, oh, it makes the defense tired and the defense plays a lot of plays. And, yeah, I get that. But, you know, that's why you have depth. That's why you make sure guys are in great shape. That's why you make sure guys are hydrated. You know, um, to me, I think that's the side, too, that we got to address that, hey, you know, if we have two or three deep, like, you know, Georgia, Alabama, that you should be able to compete with tempo teams. Because, you know, when Tennessee's out there running plays and they're going 15 to 20 plays and they're running under 10 seconds, Alabama still sub and those guys are tired. So when the offense works, even the defense now have to be two or three deep because now their guys are going to get tired if you have, you know, a successful tempo offense. 